Hey, what's up guys? I'm Anoush from AndroidRoots.com. We're going to go ahead and what I like to call the Galaxy S5 ROM for your Galaxy S4, GTI 9, 505, T-Mobile, Canadian variants, and maybe at t depending on what version, what recovery you're using as well. I can't really tell you if it's going to work for your at t device. Uh, but the other ones I mentioned earlier will work just fine just because we don't have a locked bootloader. Yay! <laughs> um, so here we are with the Galaxy S4 with a Galaxy S5 ROM. Now, before everyone starts complaining, I know, I know the Galaxy S5 has not been released. No ROMs have been leaked for, uh, as of the time of this recording video. Um, it's just basically based on aspects and looks of it. So I'll go ahead and show you around. It's not the real deal. It's just based on looks and all that. Um, it is done pretty darn well, I gotta say. So if you want to go and, uh, you know, get a little bit of taste of Galaxy S5 goodness on your Galaxy S4, if you're not planning on getting the Galaxy S5, or you just can't wait to get the Galaxy S5, this could be a nice you know a uh, way to you know deal with that problem um so we'll go ahead and first of all let's go ahead and start off and take a look at the wallpaper um so you do get this included galaxy s5 wallpaper right there moving on you also get a couple of icons that are themed up with the galaxy s5 look so internet is a little bit changed up right there there. Um, camera is definitely changed up. Um, and including while we're here, we also have some applications that are also included from the Note 3 as well. Um, so you also have the S Note right there. I believe S Memo is by default there. My Magazine is definitely from the Note 3. Um, so there it is right there. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Not a lot is themed. There was only a couple of applications that I actually themed up with the Galaxy S5 look. I believe downloads a little bit changed up possibly calculator as well i can't really tell for some of these uh but you gotta get guys get the idea some of these applications are actually themed up with that uh let's go ahead and move on to the cooler parts so first of all let's go ahead and take a look at notifications so at the top um so that is done pretty well so that is really really cool as it looks very similar to your galaxy s5 notifications at the top uh notification toggles at the very top um so you can just easily turn on a uh, wi-fi if you need to and it works really well uh moving on and even to blow your minds even more is go and tap on settings and look at that that is pretty cool it is very very similar to the official galaxy s5 rom maybe you've seen a demo or review from the youtubes <laughs> um so as you can see it is very very similar um all the icons everything works it's all circular um, if you go and tap on Wi-Fi, it opens up the Wi-Fi application, Bluetooth, Bluetooth, you guys get the idea, notification panel, it goes ahead and opens it up really well. Um, moving down, we'll go to about device right here, and yes, of course, you guys are running on Android 4.4.2, kick out latest and greatest Android version right there. Um, so that is really, really nice. Um, also, while we're here, we can go ahead and I'll show you, we also have App2SD. Uh, so if I can go ahead and go to Application Manager, tap on a random application. Um, you also have the, the Move to SD card. Um, so if you had an application that you downloaded from the Play Store, let's say Asphalt or G, or not Gmail necessarily. Uh, Gmail could work, but any application like Facebook, you can actually move that application data to your external SD card to save you internal memory. Um, so that still does work. Um, but that's pretty much it for this video, guys. So you got some aspects of the Galaxy S5 on your Galaxy S4 phone. Um, remember, it's only a ROM, nothing official, nothing really ported over anything. It's just based on looks and basically kind of a theme. Um, but although that settings is really done really well and is obviously functional as well. Um, if you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to like and subscribe in the bottom right corner right there. I really do appreciate all that support. Comment down below and let me know what you guys think of this ROM. If you guys are actually going to be flashing this ROM, it's not worth it. You really don't care about the Galaxy S5. Let me know all those thoughts down below and link down below in the video description where you can go ahead and download and flash this zip file ROM for your very own Galaxy S4. And don't, don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+, which is also located down below in the video description. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.